like that you use the word tapestry uh, because that's really why I think thorn trees is important and not just thorn trees, but you know, any other writing that's coming along is because the tapestry has tended to be loaded toward a preponderance of stories that are horror. And I'm not a big horror fan. You're obviously a horror fan, but- Big I, horror fan. I am not a big horror fan at all. And so therefore it was, it's, it's hard for someone like me who's not a big horror fan <laughs> to enjoy entertainment about witches because so much of it is horror. That's not helpful to me. So much of it is fantasy and horror. So that the Hallmark Channel, uh, what's it called, Good Witch, was very attractive to me because that was more like, oh, that's like Bernadette, like how she lives. Mm -hmm. Like there's no like demons yeah. coming out of the, she's not sword fighting, you know, these things. And how so do you know? That's <laughs> hard <to> know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, and, and, and what I like was how, like my understanding of magic, there's a lot of understandings about mag magic. I mean, there's something that, oh, all right. A friend of mine once talked about how when she came home from work, uh, her husband said he really wanted a beer really badly. And he looked all throughout the refrigerator and he couldn't find beer. And then she just said something to him like, well, honey, you're, you're gonna have a beer. And he said, oh, are you gonna go to the store? She said, no. So she opens up the refrigerator door and lo and behold, she finds a beer in the refrigerator after he's looked and looked and looked. To me, that's like magic. You know, I want him to have a beer. I'm I'm like, there's going to be a beer and then there's a beer. And it's a true story. I mean, things like that happen a lot. Sure. Um, so, yeah. I, you know, I, that's what I like about Thorn Trees. And that's what I like about Good Witch. It's like, Jacob says, magic is subtle. It's like, you know, um, for instance, I believe in I believe in angels. So I could say right now, oh, Archangel Raphael is here, and you know he's sitting in the chair over there, and um, oh, my back is hurting, you know, really bad, and like oh, uh, because I believe in this connection to this Archangel that represents healing, and I just like focus in on uh, connecting to this this Archangel, the image or a sound, whatever it is, and then suddenly that pain is gone. To me, that's like magic. That's it is magic. That is magic.